everybody, Esteban here with Undercover Coatings and today's video is going to be about how to wash a dipped vehicle. It is by far the most common question I get when people ask about quotes for getting a vehicle liquid wrapped. How do I care for my dipped vehicle? What is different about it than a traditional paint job? Well there's really only two things that I always tell people. One is your tire shine. You're going to have to change out your standard tire shine or tire gel to something that is water based versus petroleum based. Um, if you're at all familiar with liquid wraps or dipped vehicles, you know that they are not solvent resistant, which means if you go to the gas pump and you overfill the pump and spill some on your dipped vehicle, it's going to run, it's going to melt, it's not going to look pretty, it's going to get discolored. So same goes for your tire shines. Obviously, if you had a petroleum-based tire shine, a lot of the aerosols are also um, have propellants in them that are petroleum-based, so you need to stay away from those. Get you something like this chemical, guys. VRP tire dressing. This is my personal favorite. Chemical Guys has a lot of different um, variety as far as water-based and you can look at it right on the um, on the website. It tells you that it is water-based and not petroleum-based. Secondly, dip is going to require a different aftercare than a traditional painted surface. You can't use a power buffer to wax the surface so you kind of uh, limited in, in that respect. Basically all you have to do is get you something like DYC's dip coat or blue and these are basically similar to a spray wax they have some sealant properties in them and they really really give a dipped vehicle a better finish it's, it's definitely the uh, icing on the cake as far as that goes it will make the dipped vehicle feel smoother you won't have that grippy feel that you get right after it's freshly dipped it will richen the color a little bit. It uh, helps you get some extra UV protection and it just gives you that nice slick feel. It's, it's the perfect thing to top off after you wash. So those are my two main things. No solvent based tire shines and aftercare product is gonna vary slightly. Other than that, your care is gonna be very, very similar. I take both my vehicles through thr drive through car washes that have brushes and have had no issues with lifting, peeling or anything else like that. Obviously, you have to use your discretion. If you wouldn't take your normal vehicle through one of those, then I wouldn't do it with your dip vehicle. To my right here are some of the tools that I use generally. I have a pressure washer, which is perfectly safe. I would not exceed 2,000 PSI for a pressure washer, but that 1,400 one works just fine for me. I have BDP, Dawn dish liquid, and some pre-dip spray, which I'll talk about a little bit after. Also, behind me here in the bucket, I just have some general wash mitts a basic tire brush and a dip washer chamois and this is pretty much all you need you really don't need anything special to care for a dip vehicle as I said other than those two little tweaks about tire shine and aftercare so let's get to it okay for this portion of cleaning the vehicle you're really only going to need two things that's going to be BDP and a pressure washer BDP is an amazing brake dust releaser it's a touchless kind of wash product that that really just amazes me every time I use it. You spray it on, leave it for about two minutes. Do not let the product dry on the wheels. Also spray your tires too because that is part of why your tires don't shine. You need to get the brake dust and clean all the grime out of the tires as well. So spray it onto the tires and to the wheels and then after it soaks for about two minutes you're going to see uh, a lot of purple slime coming off the tire and wheel and then what you do is hit it up with the pressure washer and rinse it off really well. Make sure you get all the debris off of the tire as well or else you're going to see some staining which is going to look like rust type staining. If that happens just spray this a little bit more on the tire wherever you see those stains and then again hit it with the pressure washer and those will clear up. That's pretty much all you're going to need for regular weekly washes. If you wait really really long obviously you may need to get a tire brush and, uh, and scrub the tires or uh, wheels a little bit better with that. Otherwise this is going to be the process and I'll go ahead and do a quick time lapse of that. That way you don't have to bear through the whole two minutes. Okay, since we got the wheels knocked out with some BDP, we can move on to the body of the vehicle. Honestly, here it is pretty much exactly the same as you would do with an, a painted vehicle. One thing that is a little bit different is I like to use Dawn dish liquid, 
which I would never use on a painted vehicle because you're going to be stripping all the, the waxes that are going to protect the clear coat. And this obviously, like I said before, you can't wax other than the spray sealants and waxes that you can use over the top. So it's a little different ball game here. I do find that dirt sometimes gets a little more embedded into Plasti Dip and other removable coatings. Um, so the Dawn actually helps to kind of lift it out a little better as far as I can tell. Aside from that, just standard issue wash mitt. I like the ones with the microfiber side and also the little fingers. One thing I did want to mention uh, in the tire and wheel care section was that BDP it has a very strong odor. Uh, I would just try to pay attention to which way the wind's blowing with this stuff. It's pretty potent as far as that goes. It is safe on dipped wheels. It is safe on a dip surface. I actually like to use a little bit of BDP, do a, a, a little mist over it in uh, some of those really heavy, dirty areas. I have found that it does help, especially on white. Um, just a little tip, not necessary, but just a little tip for some stains and stuff that you may encounter. It is pretty good at lifting them. I know people also on forums like to use the Mr. Clean Eraser and uh, I believe it's Simple Green, but I, I kind of stay away from those. I've had some discoloration with the Mr. Clean Eraser. Um, again, I would just try to stick with something like a BDP that uh, will lift out some, some of those heavy contaminants and, um, and you can rinse them away with a pressure washer. So at this point in the wash, all I've done is use the pressure washer to knock off any big chunks of dirt and then I went over it with a light misting of BDP and you could see some of these streaks here of all the dirt that it allowed to lift. And then again, I went over it with the pressure washer and knocked everything off. So now I will use a mitt and get all the rest of this dirt off. Okay, so this mirror, obviously you can see it's full of bug guts. And what I've done is hit it with the pressure washer, knocked off the heavy debris. Then I sprayed it with some BDP. I've been letting it sit for a little while. Now I'm going to hit it with the microfiber towel, or wash mitt rather. And as you can see with a few little scrubs, it has really come clean pretty easily. So as you can see, the car washing process is pretty similar to a standard vehicle. I scrubbed it down with a microfiber wash mitt and then rinsed it off with a pressure washer. Pretty basic. Hopefully you have those tools already for washing your standard vehicle. If not, like I said, you can take it through a drive through car wash just fine. Use your discretion, obviously for that. Um, as far as soaps go, you do not have to go out and buy any kind of special soap. Like I said, I used Dawn Dish Liquid for this project, but matte white is one of the hardest ones to keep clean or to get clean. Uh, BDP actually helped me out a lot with that. But as far as car wash soaps go, you can use whatever you already have. Your favorite car wash soap is just fine for this. Um, my preferred method for washing vehicles is honestly using a foam cannon, uh, attach it to the pressure washer, foam down the entire car, scrub it real quick with a microfiber wash mitt, and then pressure wash it clean and then you're pretty much done. After that, just to keep the water spots off, we use a dip washer chamois, which you can use any rubberized chamois that you get uh, pretty much anywhere, and just dry the vehicle as you normally would. And then we're gonna move on to either a spray wax of your choice. A lot of forum members like the Turtle Wax Ice as their spray wax of choice, but we prefer to use DYC's Dip Coat or Blow Dip Mist. As far as choosing between these two, it's kind of a 50-50 thing, personal preference type thing. We stock a lot of dip coat. We include it with every full liquid wrap that we do. But blow dip mist is actually pretty good 
for darker vehicles. We prefer it on, say, a matte black, satin black, or any kind of dark pearl because it doesn't leave behind any kind of streaks or residue when we spray it. On occasion with dip coat, we have to go back with a dry microfiber towel and buff the vehicle to keep those streaks out. Um, as far as application, we do have a video on dip coat, on application, and some tests that we've done to show how much it improves the finish of the vehicle. But basically, you take it, soak down a microfiber towel, spritz it on whatever panel you're going to work, and do panel by panel. Do it in a cool surface. Let the panels be uh, cool as well, because that way you won't have any streaks and, and spots that way. But that pretty much wraps it up. Caring for a dip vehicle is basically just as easy as a painted vehicle, if not easier, because you don't have to deal with the waxing. Um, if you have any comments, questions, hit us up at sales at undercovercoatings.com. You can find us on Instagram or Facebook at undercovercoatings. Um, any comments, please uh, go ahead and comment down below. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We really appreciate it, and I hope it helped you out. Thanks.